Have you ever wondered just how far AI has come in creating hyper-realistic images? Well, today we're diving into Flux, a groundbreaking image generation tool that's making waves in the AI world. I'm Daniel and welcome to my channel where I make smart tutorials. Whether you've tried platforms like Midjourney or Hugging Face before, Flux is here to shake things up. In this video, we'll explore its features, create some amazing visuals and test just how realistic the results can get. Also, I've left all the useful links in the description down below, so don't forget to check them out. Let's jump in and see what Flux has to offer. Flux 1.1 Tutorial I can confidently say that Flux is a breakthrough in the image creation niche, and it could even become a strong competitor to platforms like Midjourney and Hugging Face. Now let's head to the official website, flux.ai. Let's see what Flux has to offer. There are two sign-up options. Create hardware or create images. I am choosing to create images. We are now on the Flux.1 AI model page. However, the real innovations and advanced features, such as image realism, come from the Flux 1.1 model, as showcased on the official website. Here we have a simple tool interface an image and the prompt used to create it. In the top bar menu, you'll also find a prompt generator that makes it easy to create your own prompts. To use this feature, you'll need to log in. So let's open the sign-in page and proceed. We see an image of a dark-haired woman in her early 30s playing the piano, though the piano could be better. Now I want to create my own prompt using the Flux.ai prompt generator. My goal is to generate an image of a girl holding a book that I authored. Let's give it a try. We'll set the dimensions to 16 by 9 and launch the generation. This will cost 8 credits. And it's one of the ways to create an image using the Flux 1.1 model. The generated picture shows a girl reading a book. Let's take a closer look at the details. The quality is impressive. Both the objects and the girl appear quite realistic. As expected, the background is blurred, which is common for image generation. However, there are a few additional tips you can use to enhance your images. For instance, generating an image with a simple prompt works surprisingly well. Let's try a 1.1 aspect ratio and see the results. I didn't specify any details this time. But unfortunately, we're out of credits. The pricing is $15.90 per month, with each credit costing 2 cents. So let's explore some alternative ways to generate images using the Flux 1.1 model. One such option is the Together AI service. which we can also use to generate images with Flux 1.1. Click Get Started and choose your preferred registration method. You can register through Google, LinkedIn or GitHub. 
In our case, we'll use Google. The service is asking for additional account details. So let's go ahead and enter them. I'm typing my username, which should be less than 20 characters and not contain any symbols. Next, I'll enter the company name. When asked if you have a Gen AI API production, simply select yes and indicate that you're an enthusiast. Once completed, you'll receive $1 in free credits to get started, along with a token that allows you to use the Together AI service across various APIs. Click Get Started and select the model you're interested in. specifically the Flux 1.1 Pro model. Let's see how much we can do with just one dollar. We left the Flux website when we intended to generate an image. Without providing any additional details, Access to the model is restricted for users without a credit card. To proceed, we need to enter our credit card details. Once completed, we'll still receive $1 in credits. However, to use the Flux 1.1 model, we must enter our card information. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll select the Build Tariff Plan and click Get Started. This will take us to the Manage Account page. To unlock the free Build Tier 1, we need to enter our credit card details. After entering the information and clicking Save, the Flux 1.1 model will become accessible. The $1 will be temporarily charged, but they promise to refund it. Let's go to the Generation section of our account and refresh the page. We need to make sure that Flux 1.1 Pro is being used. And yes, the process started as soon as we entered our card details. Here we can see the impressive realism and detail in the generated image. You can download it or copy the prompt. Let's play with the service a bit. And for example, specify that the image should be a selfie. We can see that the generation is very fast and the image is quite realistic. In fact, both the realism and the quality of the generated image are very high. Now, let's try using the prompt we created earlier. We'll ask Flux 1.1 AI to regenerate the image based on our prompt of a woman with a book. Let's see what result Together AI will give us. As we can see, the result is not quite satisfactory. I didn't check how I generated the prompt initially, but I think we can use ChatGPT to help create a better prompt. In ChatGPT, we'll look for a module for Flux prompts. There are several options on the list, including Flux Prompt Pro, Flux Prompt, Mid Journey, 
Image Prompt Maker, Flux Prompt Generator, and other custom GPTs. For example, let's select the one with a higher rating. And ask it to generate a prompt. Help me create a Flux Prompt. It will then give us a few creative suggestions. We see book title in the prompt, and while we could try generating the image here, that's not what we want. Instead, we'll copy the prompt and paste it into the Together AI platform to see what it generates for us. We see a fairly realistic photo with a book by Daniel Davidson. One of the standout features of the Flux 1.1 Pro model is its ability to accurately add captions. The photos are quite detailed, with almost no artifacts or oddities. The only issue is that the girl's fingers appear a bit too long. So let's try a different prompt. The book by Daniel Davidson is generated again, though there's a small error. Still, the photo itself is detailed and looks pretty good. Let's try a few more attempts and see how they turn out. Here's an image of a young man with silver hair and pale skin. This one looks more in a fantasy style. Now let's check our balance. We can see that for the images we have generated so far, 19 cents have been deducted. Overall, we've got some really interesting results. You can try generating an image with a simple prompt like this. I've noticed that random names like this tend to work quite well, especially when you add just one or two descriptive words. There's no need for a more detailed prompt, and the results are often very realistic. For example, this one looks very accurate, almost like a regular portrait. For example, let's change the portrait to a selfie and see how it turns out. Once again, the result is very realistic. All the images we generated are saved here. Let's check the balance to see how much has been deducted. So, here we have a pretty powerful AI tool, Flux 1.1 Pro, and we've seen how it can generate incredibly realistic images. Final thoughts. So, there you have it. Flux 1.1 is an impressive tool for generating realistic and detailed images, whether you're creating simple portraits or more complex scenes. It's fast, flexible and offer a ton of creative potential. If you are in AI tools or just looking for something new to experiment with, Flux is definitely worth checking out. If you are excited to try it out, or if you have already used it and have some thoughts to share, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your experiences. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.